Okay, guys. So how's everyone today? The weather's beautiful like we had discussed, so it's hard to be bad on a day that, that feels like this, I think, right? I love this breeze. Can you guys feel that? Can you feel the breeze? It feels amazing. It's better than the air conditioning for Vince, right? It's quiet and it feels better and it's cleaner. Oh, you want, do we want the air conditioning and the, and the window open? <laughs> All right, so, um, so today when I was on my way here, I was, uh, I was beginning to tell you. I was texting my friend. I have this friend. Every time I text him, he does not answer. He may answer me like three days later. Four days. He never answers. Right. Like, like, what do they do? Like, how? That too. That's a good example. That too. Did, did that ever happen to you? So, so you think that maybe he was hoping he did not answer? Yeah. That's a good idea. Those are good suggestions. Does that ever happen to, to you, Anna? Any, when you try, whether it's your children or your... Of course, my children, they answer only when they are uh, okay to do that. But if they call me, they have to answer promptly. Ah. Maybe on uh, my duty. So if I have, sometimes we have to ask them something important or that they are playing No? Why is that? She doesn't care. She told me that it's a boy thing. I have to do my things. I don't have time to answer to. So it's prefer to have the direct contact. Oh, okay. Sometimes you need to. You need contact quite far, so. <laughs> very good. But they are very crazy. They make me, make me crazy. Man. Yeah? Yes. It's frustrating. Yeah. So why do you think they don't answer? Because they are lazy and because <laughs> they are stupid. My, my guys, they always are with the phone in their hands, but they keep it in silence. Uh -huh. So they say, oh, they are busy with their friends. Uh, they are busy texting with other people. So they say, oh, it's mommy now. OK. <laughs> so it can't be anything else. It must be that they are maybe they ignoring? They are lazy and ignoring because they are doing the best of the room. Okay. So you must an you must answer, but but not them. Yeah, 
And yeah, how does it feel? Maybe you should try it. <laughs> I would like to try some more sometimes because when they don't, have, they don't answer, I keep on calling 10 times, 12 times, and so they then feel, oh, I'm so sorry, the phone was not silent. Okay, they say, what are you doing? Abdul, any, any, does that ever happen to you? Yes, this time it's happened with, uh, with my friend. When I call him, uh, he doesn't answer. I don't know why he doesn't answer. Because I want to, and they call me, I, I, uh, I don't answer. They don't even understand. Because uh, I don't answer. That doesn't sound fair. So, uh, why do you think he doesn't answer? He, so he must be busy, you think? Or is there a chance maybe he is doing something else, or he must no, be busy? If they, if they, I am busy I can't call okay. So if he doesn't answer, do you think that he must be busy, or maybe something else? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I have a friend, and then Vince, you said as well uh, yeah. at first, right? Really? Yeah. They don't like it? Yeah, they prefer um, more messages than uh, like text. Hmm. Why is that? For me, it's easy because you know, they prefer uh, when you drive, for example, you can uh, text. Ah, text. so maybe they are driving, and that is why they like the phone calls? Uh, or that they prefer the phone calls? Or that they prefer, yeah, so then why, yeah, good point. So why then, hmm, if they are driving, they should not be texting, right? Yeah. I like to call when I drive. Okay, Bluetooth is safest, yeah. I think. Yeah, yeah. Here I can because I have not, uh, uh, not uh, Okay, okay. You can buy something, I think, for that, though, right? No. Yeah, yeah. Yesterday I I um, I cut uh, a red uh, light, but because I turn right, you can't hear. Yeah. If it does not that say no turn red. on red, right? What? Yeah, but uh, in general, if you if you turn on the orange one and the red, yeah, but uh, most of the time you yeah. can you can turn. Police officer is just stop in the middle of the line, and uh, I fall. I cut on the right. No problem. You can't. It's provident to call when you drive, and it's provident to really cut the red. Uh, yeah. So you did both yeah. in one try. <laughs> Very good. That's funny. So France, yeah. So is that weird for you to see everyone turning, turning on red lights and on the phone? It's very different. Yeah. Yeah. yeah here, everyone is on the phone. Do you notice a lot of people on the phone when you drive? Most of them. Right. All. And all of them. Oh, 95 especially, right? Yeah. When there are some plants, so you can see in the other cars because yeah. they are in the queue. Yeah. And when, when I, I, I try to get, uh, um, try to drop the distance, mm -hmm. the Is it that same lady that, that you see? <laughs> so if I wrote this sentence to you, like we were talking just now about how maybe someone is busy, maybe they will call you back, maybe they prefer to send you a text message. Uh, so if I wrote this sentence, Tony is not home, 
E blank be at the gym. What is there? What do you think I could fill this with then? Might, might right? Might. Is there another word you can think of? May. Okay, might or may. Very good. Very good, right? Yeah. So those all those all fit. He might be at the gym. Why would we say? Why would we say might here? We don't know, right? So maybe. Very good. So, why, what else would you say? Maybe, maybe he's, why would you say might or may? Because we don't know, and he could be, what do you think? Very good. Yeah, right? So, if he's not at home, he, like you said, he might be at the gym, but he might not be at the gym, right? Uh, so those, do, have we heard of what this is called, like the might and may? Very good. Models of, dedu of deduction. So might and may, right? So that's when we don't know. What do you know? What is it when we, when we do know? What is the model of deduction when we do know? Must. Very good. So you guys have seen this before? So must. Must, so we do know must then. Uh, so we said might and may is, is when something is, is possible, but, but we're uncertain. And you said, now what did you say must was? When you're sure if you, if you yes. Very good. So when you are sure, right? Very good. When you are sure. Um, so if I say, without, and then if you, you said that if someone is, is not, if you think that it is not possible, what was that? If I said, oh, very good, can't, can't. That's not possible. So can we use must in a sentence? Can you use must in a sentence, an example sentence? The word must. Uh huh. You must. You must turn right. Yeah. You must turn right. When the road is free. But you, you. It's not that you must turn right because you can go left, right? <laughs> so would that be more of another one, maybe? Uh huh. He did give you a ticket. He didn't. Oh, okay. Siren or bad? Yeah, yeah, and he was, he opened the door and he was coming and I was just, he, my husband moved a little bit and I moved and he just closed the door and walked. You got lucky. You got lucky. <laughs> so, the, so can we use must in a sentence? Can we think of another sentence? Any sentence, just with the word must? Uh, okay. So if you are in the right turn lane, you must turn right. Yeah. Okay, very good. And then what about can't? What about can't? Ah, oh, very good. <laughs> so we keep it the same, right? We keep it the same. Um, so, my, you know, the, that blue car can't be his car because his car is white. Right, so that's impossible. It's impossible, and then uh, and then the other one would be might and may. Like, uh, can we think of another one with might and may? You might turn right, but you can 
Okay, so someone might turn if they have the the opportunity. Very good, very good. So you guys, so you guys are pretty comfortable with this stuff. The might, the the may, the must, and the can't. So those are models of deduction. So we we've seen that before. Great. All right, guys. So I brought in a uh, today. I brought in a worksheet, and it's a uh, it's a funny worksheet. I'll show it to you guys. We can do this in pairs of two, and uh, and it it works with what we just did. Um, so right before I hand it out, let me just tell you. I'll give you an example. So if you can see here, there's six people here. And what you are going to do is you are going to try to match the job with the people. So uh, you might say that number one is a, a boxer. So that there's a list here. Boxer, hairstylist, politician, psychoanalyst, university professor, and violinist. Okay? Do we know what all of those are? All of those jobs are? Okay, great. So... Uh, then we say what we eliminate the jobs that they are not. So you might say this guy can't be a politician. And then the second one, you say what are possible, right? So if it is possible, then which one will we use? We would use might or may, right? So then we would say what they might is possible. And then the next one would be what our final choice, what they definitely, we think, that, what we think they definitely are. So then what would we use there? They must. must, right? Very good. So it's kind of funny. Uh, I'm going to pass this out here, and then uh, we, can, we can go through. And let, I'm, I'm curious to see what you guys think. I have the answers, which I will give you at the end, so I will tell you what they really do and who they really are. But uh, just by looking at them, you can kind of try to match them up. So again, what they, what they can't be, what they might be, and what they, we think that they must be, right? So we'll take a few minutes to do that, and then we will go over it and review and see if everyone agrees or we have different answers. Does anyone know what a politician is? He's a, technically a politician. Do, do, do you, what do you guys, how would you define politician? What is a politician? Yep. So someone who works with the government it would be a politician. But in the, but in that, uh, in like the government section, sector of the, the, the governmental like political political section like like you're seeing a lot on TV right now right politician um, I don't think they need to be elected I think they just um, they they work with the political section of the government right any other ideas on Abdul are you familiar with politicians a little bit what would you say Okay.
Yes, these two. Hmm? Uh, you would say he used to be a boxer. Uh, used to is when you usually did something and then you stopped. So I would say, if I stopped eating ice cream, I would say I used to eat ice cream, but now I don't. So he used to be a boxer, but now he... Or isn't. Yeah, very good. Isn't. Yep. Okay. And now I'm uh, biologist. Yeah, that's fine. You, 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 you said uh, I used to be a teacher. Well, you, you, you said I was in your last example, and that's fine. Yeah, you could say I was a journalist, and now I am a teacher. Yeah. And you can say you can say both of them. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Used to be both. Never. Uh, really? You've never heard of that? For me, use is when you, for example, I, I use it, I use, I'm using my phone. Using, right. It's like a phrase, used to be. <coughs> U-S-E-D. U-S-E-D, and then to be, right? Used to be. Yeah. Very good, yeah. So how are we doing on the, the no, exercise? This is, this is it's actually hard. Once I give you the answers, you will be surprised. <laughs> how are we doing? Oh, so this one, there, is an this one. Answer. there are answers, yes. Uh, I had is. said in the beginning, I will give you the answers. Um, I, they are real people, and they have real positions. Are, and those are their real positions. So I will give you their names, who they really are, and what they really do. No, no, no. Maybe not. Maybe. She may surprise you. Maybe. You say, you say she must be the boxer? No, she might be the boxer. Might or maybe. Who can't be the boxer? She can't be a boxer. Who is he? The hairstylist? Because you like his hair? No, because he's <laughs> like a little... Uh, Feminine? Yeah. I don't know. I don't want him to get mad at me. No, I didn't think he would have... How's it going over here? Oh, you guys have... You guys have it down to a science. You guys are doing math over here. If you carry the 2 and minus the 1, divide by 3, and that is the boxer. Very good. So I'll give you guys a few more minutes. Psychoanalyst? It's like a psychologist. They analyze you. Do you know the word analyze? It's not exactly the same, but that's what they do. They analyze you psychologically. For example, if you cross your, your, your hand or you, your, your, your friend. Ah, uh, they would look at that, yeah. yes. Very good. Yes, exactly. Yes. Do you see it as half full or half empty? I think it's half full. Half full? Half full? You guys see it as half full or half empty? Half full. Half full? Very good. That's, that's a good way to look at life. <laughs> ah, 
See, it's it's both, right? So, um, or is it, or is it one quarter empty? All right. So <laughs> let's get back to the worksheet. So, uh, so what did we get for the the first one there? Uh, what do we think someone can't be? So if they can't be something, then what are we doing? We but if they can't be something, we are. That means that they what? So are you saying that he can't, that he is or he is not? So he is not. I think he is not. Okay. He is not what? Journalist. Which one? The first one is not a journalist? What do you guys think? He can't be. You think he must be a politician? So what, what do we think? Maybe? Okay. What do you think he he may or might be? He might be a used to be. Ah, oh, so that's why you were asking. Okay. He's a little older. So what about the second one? What do we think of him? So you think he must be yeah. a hairstylist? Yeah. Okay. What do you, he's not a boxer. But he, but he can't he can be, be a boxer. boxer. Okay. What do you guys think of the second one? You think he might be a hairstylist? Okay. <laughs> can't be a boxer. Can't? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He must be a boxer. Wait, he must be a boxer, number two? No. Okay. No. Okay. No. Okay. No. okay. He can't be? Yeah. He might be. Okay, he, he might be. That's fair. Okay, so we have different answers. This will be surprising. What do we think of three? Uh, what do you guys think? Okay. Can't be a boxer. What might or may she be? Okay. Must be. Ah. Okay. Um, and what about four? What did you guys think for four? This gentleman. Did you have for the uh, for the for the first for B there? What what uh, is he not? What is he not? Right. So you would say he. So using the modules of deduction, you would say he. Very good. His hair does look a little crazy, huh? What about the what about the, the the what you think he is? What was it? I'm sorry. Must. Ah, oh, right. You did say that. I'm sorry. Yeah. Very good. Uh, what do you? Right. 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 Okay. Very good. You're right. And what did you guys think? Okay. 
agree that he can't be a hairstylist. Okay. So what about five? Do you think she could be a hairstylist? She has, she has nice hair. Doesn't she? I don't know. She must be a hairstylist. Or what else? Okay. Like you were saying before, she does it though. So now the last one. What? So now, what must she be? What do we think? She can't see. Okay. She may be a boxer or can. So so. So she must be a boxer. So, so she must be a boxer. You would say? Is that what you said? Okay. Oh no, you disagree? Oh, okay. What do you think? She must be a politician. Okay. And then she may or can't. What do you guys think of the last one? Okay. 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 Are you re are you guys ready for the answers? Because because uh, it's a little different than what you thought. So the answer to number one, his name is Vince Cable. He is a politician. He is a politician. So we were, we were on the right track with that one a little bit, right? And you guys had that one. Number two, his name is Richard Ward. And he is a hairstylist. So I think you both got that one. I think you both. Uh, did that one correctly, right? Sure. So three, three is Mary Beard. She is a university professor. So you guys were actually pretty good with this. Number four, number four, Adam Phillips is his name. He's the psychoanalyst. Five is Nicola Benedetti. She's a vi violinist. Five, a violinist, violinist, violin, violinist. And six is Nicola Adams, and she is a boxer. But you had some doubt on the boxer, but then you said, I think you said she she must be a boxer. So she had it. Very good, very good. Which one? Were, which one was the most confusing there? Do you think? Yeah, it's hard to tell from just pictures. Is the proof, but but at the same.
same time, you did pretty well just looking at pictures, I think, right? So now I was thinking of actually putting these, this, this concept of the modules of deduction into a, a little activity. So have you guys ever used Airbnb? What is that? Okay. Any other any other information uh, or explanation? Okay. Has anyone used it before? I think I used one. Okay. And did you like it? So that's what it is, exactly. You can, instead of booking through a hotel, you can rent someone's apartment or house, okay? So what I was thinking is we, we make an imaginary apartment or house or villa that we are going to rent and pretend like you are going to post your piece of property, your hotel, or your villa, your apartment, your house on Airbnb. It can be anywhere. But on Airbnb, they let you explain, right? Do they, what do they let you do on Airbnb when you go on to look? What, what do you see? Okay. Right. Anything else? Okay. Check basically everything, yeah. You can online, Exactly. So what you will do is you will write that information. This is where it is. This is who I am. This is, uh, yeah. And But you will say these are the things that you may or might want to do in the area. You may want to go to, the, if it's in Florida, you may want to go to the beach. You may want to go to the Everglades. You might want to go snorkeling and, or, or scuba diving, things that you might want to do. And then what about the things that you can't do, right? Do they ever say, like, you can't? Yeah. Like right, you can't smoke. You can come uh, with uh, other people. Like right. You uh, can just you can come with, uh, you can come uh, five people. Right. So, exactly. So, very good. So, I'm curious, what rules would you have in, if, this, if you rented your apartment on Airbnb? So, you give the information, where, how many rooms, who you are, how much it is, where it is. Then you might say what you might or may want to do. And then the rules. You can't do this in my house. You can't do this in my house. You might do this. You may want to do this. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. So they might live there and they might not. So it depends on which one you, you, maybe you must live there, maybe you can't live there. That's very good. Very good. That's much cheaper than a yeah. hotel. All right, so we'll take a few minutes to try to do this, and then we will go over them. I'm curious what you would charge.
to compare? I don't know. No, I don't know. Is it? I did not know, no. So then, use that knowledge to what would you what would you charge for your room then if it was here? What? You can use that knowledge or information to choose what you would charge for your apartment here. Yeah. You know maybe you can charge you you are competing with I, I never, hotels I never, and you know the price. I never chose in, I never did. Right. Okay. So you know the prices here, so you can compare for your Airbnb, right? Yeah. And you, you maybe can write, I know hotels in the area are 120, and I charge less. What do you think about this? For you, two I think that's average. That's like the average price of a hotel around here, yeah. Oh. A little over $100, yeah. It's because you're by the beach. Anything by the beach is more money. Well, but you're close. Yeah. I mean, the only road, the only closer road with a hotel is the be is A1A, basically. So. Was it nicer? Exactly. That's how it works. Yeah. All right, so we'll take another like a uh, few minutes and then we will go over it. You must uh, well you must be less noisy you must you must not be noisy that's a good rule When do you not use it? Can you give me an example? You usually need... When I, go, when I went to the school, when I went to school... I went to school. Well, we usually use the when we are talking about something that we specifically know, like the dog. I saw the dog. So we specific, you must know a specific dog that I am talking about. And then we use like a dog when we and don't know. We know the school. Yeah. And you said, I went to the school. Mm -hmm. 
So you, when you, if you say I went to the school, then I would be talking about a specific school, right? I went to school in Fort Lauderdale means it's a just not specific, right? But there are circumstances where we don't use the when we when we do, yes. Yeah. I went to school, I went to the school. Right. That's a good rule. What did you guys have? Tell us. Tell me about your place. Let's see.
think of that place. Would you stay there? No? Why not? Why not? Too strict? Too many rules? So they say you are too strict. Let's see. So let's see. Let's see this party palace over here. So tell us about your place. here who owns the place <laughs> so after 10 okay that's not too bad okay No guests? No guests? So I can't say, guys, come over and have fun? Okay, okay, okay. What do you guys think of their place? Do you like it? No? It is a prison. <laughs> so what, do we like it, Abdul? There is no privacy. There are cameras. Okay, so the prices are very low. How much? Per night? That's kind of expensive, no? Oh, we are in Switzerland. Okay, okay. So what might I do? What might or may I do? Do I, okay, so do I go to the beach? Are there beautiful beaches? Right? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> what beach? <laughs> what beach? Oh, there's a lake. He's talking about the beach along the lake. The beach along the lake. <laughs> so the beach along the lake, maybe? The beach along the lake, maybe? Very good. So there's a lot to do. There's a lot that I can do. So there's also a lot that I can't do, right? <laughs> That's another rule. That's another rule that there is. That's another rule. Very good. So very good, guys. So that's the end of the class. Very, very good. So we learned the module of, the d of deduction. We also learned that both of our houses on Airbnb are very strict and have a lot of rules, right? We learned what we, what we can't do. 
what we must do, we must return the key, we must pay the deposit, and we learn what we may do, right? So very good, guys. So you guys have a good day, and I will see you all tomorrow.